Hi everyone, I thought I would do a Thrifty Thursday because I popped up to the shop and uh, found some goodies. So I thought I'd go through them, mostly crochet, doily type of things. So this was quite a large one, I thought, and that is really nice. I'm going to ink tents a few, I think. I love this. This is, this is one of my favourite little designs. I don't know if there's a name for it. Someone might know there's a name for it, but I just love the the way that the thin strip has been joined by some thinner strips and then there's this crisscross thinner strip. It must have taken a bit to make this one. Isn't that beautiful though? These almost look a little bit like a seashell on the corner. Got a flower, beautiful. And then a bigger flower in the middle. Uh, I quite like these raw like this. Uh, I don't need to dye it. Also, um, this big round one, as loose and open as it is, I mainly got it because they look like hearts all around the edge and I loved them. Um, so. so, yeah, I think this week might... I really love it. This week I might get into a little bit of... Not tie dyeing, but you know, just colouring some things. I loved this because it had all the little flowers, and there was two of them. Uh, this was uh, Savers in Preston, is where I went. Yeah, I often complain about the prices going up a lot. So you know, for two, it's four dollars ninety nine or three dollars ninety nine. I mean, maybe the days of uh, being lucky enough to get fifty cent piece, <laughs> fifty cents a piece, are gone. But anyway. Um, beautiful tatting. Look how much work is in this. This is how big it is. Like, it's huge. It's like a huge middle of the table piece. But it's tatting. Someone made that. Someone went to all that trouble. Isn't it gorgeous? Some of that might be going in the shop, I think. And I got this little coloured doily which I loved. It's Kate, Kate's inspired me a little bit with the bright oranges and yellows. And I thought this would be really nice. They're all little crocheted bits that have been, you can see they've been joined. So not too hard to pull apart. And a nice lot of variegated colours. Uh, the other thing, um, when I was watching Kate, what, Kate um, at the Journal Nest making the pin cushion. Uh, when I saw this, I thought thought of you, Kate. I thought that's that's gonna that's a perfect little thing. I'm gonna have a go at one of those pin cushions. Uh, but there's lots, so some of those might go in the shop too. Um, I will be changing the way I do my shop. Uh, more to come on that. I think it's just going to be uh, an Instagram kind of, here's what there is, uh, say sold and send it in the in, in, inbox and uh, we'll work it out from there, the postage. Probably Australia only, I think, because postage to America is just way too much. So uh, that's my little Thrifty Thursday op shop haul. Now, the other things that I've got, I will show you next. Uh, not all of them were thrifty, <laughs> but I'll show you them in a second. Put this away. Um, I found, while I was cleaning up, a little stash that I'd just put aside and forgot <laughs> as it happened. So um, I thought I'd just do a little unboxing or unpacking. Now, um, unless you follow... Uh, either 10100 10, and or Jess Carp. Um, these people all got together and did a massive, um, they called it Alice in Wonderland or Artists in Wonderland and they all got together and they had um, one, two, three, four, five from uh, Europe and five from America and they kind of had a graffiti off or a spray paint off and they had I think it was 10 days and they went without a break. And honestly, honestly, they uh, played all sorts of different games. And when they were playing games, sometimes one of the, if someone said that, said a word, then they would be penalized in the competition. 
and it was quite, I didn't watch it all, but it was long, but um, it was quite good fun. And I, I thought the funniest one was when um, Kipto and, I can't remember if it was this guy, this guy, sorry, I'm not remembering anyone's name, probably on the back here. Uh, they had to, you know, when you spray paint and you're doing a, a picture, often you maybe touch the nozzle three times, one, two, three, to get the paint flowing smoothly before you make your mark on the wall. Anyway, they were both limited to 600 presses of the thing each. And they did, you know, it was when they realized how many times they actually pressed the nozzle of a spray can. So they were only allowed to do 600 and then they, that was it. They had to finish their picture. Anyway, that was pretty funny, but there were lots and lots. Um, 10100 uh, is pretty good at organizing all of that sort of stuff. So fun to watch, but um, Turbo Vinyl made stickers of each artist. So each artist was given, this was the first start of the whole project. They were given um, a character from Alice in Wonderland each. And then they made up stickers and I love stickers. So I, I thought I, I wanted to support them because they were, it was good value. It was very entertaining. So Dope TV had the Cheshire Cat. Um, Jess, Jess is a fabulous artist. If you ever go and look at her YouTube channel, she does some great tutorials. Jess Carp. Um, so she had Alice. Um, Lazy Arts had the rabbit. Isn't it great? The, the roller, the roller, lollipop pencil, sort of made them all um, artists. Um, T2 Sugars, Tweedledee, Tweedledum. Is there a Tweedledee in here? I think this is Tweedledee and that's Tweedledum. And so Black Bean did this one. They're just such great pictures. You could get a re really massive poster, but I'm, I'm just fascinated. I just, I think they're so um, talented, Snow Nova. Uh, uh, I can't remember this character. Is it a frog? I don't know. I can't, it's not the caterpillar. He's the caterpillar. Kipto had the caterpillar. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh, and Nick Moody Art had the white rabbit. So the other rabbit. Maybe that's um, at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And maybe this is at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. I can't, I can't remember their characters. Sloopy had um, the Mad Hatter and Ten Hun had the um, Queen of Hearts. And aren't they fabulous stickers? Like, I don't, I, I've got to, I've got to honour them somehow by putting them somewhere special. But I uh, thought I'd share that this is like a little christmas present finding this pile in my stash somewhere i i had already looked at the ten hun uh, stickers i hadn't got them out i just uh kind of glanced anyway i had a little uh, order from the cruel goblin the other day i was thinking where, where did that order go i thought i didn't don't remember seeing it and here it is it was uh here here in the stash. So, got some of the dye works. Beautiful. And I love that they're a bit vague, vaguely variegated. So, baked apple, that's called. That's from the, per these are from the Pearl collection. This one is scuppernong. <laughs> what a great word. But look, it's just got just enough variegation to add some interest to your work and I got a couple of these little flora collection beautiful I think I wanted to have a try of some of the threads and see if I find a new favorite thread but um, I really love these they're really a bit pastely but they're just lovely there, out of there, and a little bit of Appleton's Red. 
because I got a whole massive bag ages ago of threads and I've wound them all onto bobbins but I never knew what they were because they were from someone's stash and I was thinking if I can get a little uh, a real Appletons I'll be able to kind of just test it and a little bit of Australian uh, silk so that's my cool goblin order this is from Cozy Corner Quilts up New South Wales maybe or it's either New South Wales or Central Victoria it's, uh, it's quite fascinating because I've forgotten what I ordered now um, uh, Laguna New South Wales so New South Wales and let's have a look what I got KK Fabrics I just thought this was beautiful and bright I don't always use a lot of brights. I tend to tone it down, but that I, I saw that and loved it. I saw this and loved it. I do love a yellow, pale yellow. Um, the feathers. Um, there are always flower for those who want to see them, Matisse. And I thought this one would be good for thread painting. I really quite like the design. And let's see if there is a name. Uh, imaginary Flowers by Gingerbra. And I liked it because it was imaginary flowers. So I thought, oh, that'd be nice to see someone else's little idea of how flowers work. And I should just tell you, if I can, Land of Enchantment. Uh, that's oh, that's all I've got of that. You don't always get the selvage edge to know, and that's so pale. Um, mode of fabrics, 100% cotton. Uh, I don't have a name on it. Land of Enchantment. Superior Blue is the feathers. Flower Girl, Flower Fields in Buttermilk is that. And this is Native Blooms and it's Waratah. Then this one is Mystical Kingdom, Dragons in Pink. Uh, so I I think at, mo at the time, and this was even before Junk Journal, this is months. <laughs> this has probably been sitting there for a month or two. Uh, I just think, thought I really loved these little dragons. I thought they were so cute. Uh, so who knows what I'm using these for? because sometimes you order something and you have something in mind and then if you don't open it or don't get round to it, you've forgotten what you had in mind. Yes, I'm having a cup of tea. Um, lately, I've been getting these packets. Uh, Lily got something in the mail and gave me hers. So I had something in the mail and um, this is my... So I've got about three or four of these packets sitting here and it's a great weight. And I love the little koalas and the leaves, but I'm thinking I'm going to make a whole heap of junk journals out of these because they're fabulous. So because I've been doing some um, jelly plating, I use a, uh, it's Australian baking paper, or well, it's not just an Australian baking paper, I also use a um, grease proof paper that all of these are all Australian and I realised I wanted um, I wanted some jelly sheets to play with on the jelly print. So uh, I just got this packet. It, it has about a hundred, I think, in there. And they're just like little sandwich squares. But it's going to be interesting to see. I've got a plate that will fit like this. So um, I am going to have some fun playing with those. Stop crinkling. Uh, now the other thing I wanted to share was just uh, I got a couple of books from the library. I went to a I went to a talk at the library and borrowed some books while I was there. And the talk was um, a girl in a wheelchair talking about um, just because you're if you're in disability doesn't mean you can't be joyful. And she was also talking about the way her life is and what how you know how she's treated. Um, by people good and bad and how people don't always understand that 
yes, you're in a wheelchair, but you want to be treated like a normal person. But also the fact that you're in a wheelchair means that you actually do spend a lot more time using energy in and out of a chair, to the toilet, to shower, all of that. And so sometimes, uh, she was just talking about sometimes you can be totally exhausted and uh, people don't necessarily understand. So uh, it was a very interesting talk. But while I picked up a couple of books, I picked up this one. The other two are um, not bothering, I won't show. But this one, um, Poetic Cloth, really just was gorgeous. It just has some um, beautiful um, pictures, little stitchings. So she's broken it into different chapters, touch. Aren't they spreads? They're just beautiful, aren't they? Look at this gorgeous old antique. Oh, it's lovely. Vintage lingerie. Um, comforting, so domestic. It's got a big blanket. I love it. The headings. Technical, papery, structural, otherworldly. Oh, that's just beautiful. Um, I th thought um, a few of us have been talking swatching a bit lately and it was interesting for a textile person that swatching might be your threads on a card. Something I hadn't thought about. Thread wraps. just a delight Look at the, the tones from the white through the neutrals to the yellows and oranges just gorgeous little tiny stitches so stitch just these beautiful bits of old sheer material are gorgeous uh, there's um, I saw on Instagram the other day someone was having uh, talking about the our National Gallery in Melbourne. Uh, she was a textile artist and she had a couple of photos and apparently upstairs there's a tiny little room with a couple of dresses that are like this but they've been um, beaded in these patterns and they're like from the 1800s, 1880s and I just had no idea they were there. I must go in and, and look at them because her photos. There wasn't a lot of it or a lot of the photos or a lot of the actual exhibition, but wow, they looked gorgeous. Um, so this book was also interesting because it talks, it has other people in it as well, which I was thinking about that the other day, the support of other artists, um, the support and the camaraderie and the friendships. And why not in a book have other people? Why, why does it all have to be everything about the one person? Why, why not? Um, this is great because we get a good variety of different people in this case. And look at this, isn't this just, this really inspired me so much. <laughs> uh, I know I've got my little jumper of, on that I've made or my little invisible mending, but this, this is, I just have always, always loved a very light cotton summer sort of shift type of dress. So I'm gonna to have to be a, on the hunt for some of those things. Um, Cyanotypes too. Uh, uh, what was I watching? Ray Miss, Missigan, I think that's how you say the name. She was jelly plating to emulate Cyanotypes. So she was jelly, jelly plating her background with a dark blue and then she was printing a light blue design over the top and it came out looking like a cyanotype um, and that's another way of playing with threads and playing with materials. Um, Claire, I, some of these people I'm mentoring, mentioning just maybe go and check them out on Instagram. Claire Wellesley Smith, um, I did look up a lot of these people and followed their Instagrams to have a look at what they're doing. Beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful work. Dorothy Caldwell. It's so, um, 
it's so painterly as if it's a big painting on a wall but it's actually all look it's thread it's beautiful um, so stitching and applique and wax so silk screen as well beautiful that's intricate work look at these oh just lovely oh you see here this is what i'm talking about isn't that gorgeous but i do love this yes oh oh i was thinking the other day you know the old indian batik wax um they have the little it's like a little cup with the wax that's melted and you drip it onto the fabric and it's and then you dye it and the wax stops the dye from going onto the material i was thinking we could do that with candles in the home home craft room or the home artist okay so types um there's so many things to do i mean this book really is inspiring look at this these x-rays using x-rays with your cyanotype it's all just just gorgeous stitching just simple running stitch but look at all the patterns and the you know the way it edge goes around an edge the way it covers and moves two bits of material together it's peeling paint amazing so i thought you'd like to see this it's uh, quite quite a beautiful book oh and um this was beautiful um fabrics from a trip to australia and then stitch them all in a lattice lace patchwork here this is um where is the person cecilia heifer uh, I just love this lace passport and this reminded me a little bit of field notes too so I'm not quite sure I have to read it but it looks to me like there have been bits pulled out or cut out of a bigger larger piece of lace or stitched over and then bits cut out and then bits of paper put in and I'm going to do this this week this is on my list not this something like this I'm going to test out those theories mending beautiful I love that this is sort of a, a ethereal almost it's really um, such fine bits of material so a bit on seams and patching and look at this isn't it gorgeous oh Matthew Harris darning and, and after having a go at this very shonky backyard darning job I'm I really am appreciate I mean I love mine don't get me wrong I like the messy look but I also am appreciating just the the, the beauty of this perfection of these ones as well <laughs> and I love this love love this Lorna Muir so there you go there's a uh, this beautiful love that Debbie Lydon um, Petna. so waxing your textiles which um, we've seen lots of people doing this with paper as well. It's, you've got your two bits of baking paper in, put your material or whatever, put beeswax and then iron over the top of the parchment paper. So there you go. I thought you would like to have a little look at all of that. So thanks for coming along for that ride and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.